question is about um, a supermarket where 40% of the employees are male and they choose one employee to um, undergo training. And it says, what assumption is made if 0.4 is taken to be the probability of the employee being male? Well, we have to assume here that every single member of the population, the employees in other words, has the same chance of being chosen rather than uh, perhaps you are only choosing from um, the butchers or something which are possibly all male. You have to assume that every single member of the supermarket has the same chance of being chosen, in which case there is a random possibility of 0 0.4 of the um, person being male. Okay, so this is a question about the binomial distribution. I'm just going to use a bit of the notation here and a few definitions. I'm going to take x to be the number of males who are chosen. And in this case, we say that x has a binomial distribution where n, the number of the sample size, is 6. And the probability of success, or success in this case is choosing male, is 0.4. And we are asked, first of all, to find the probability that all 6 are female. Well, if all 6 are female, it mean, means that the number of males is equal to 0. Now, using the formula in the front of the book, the probability that x is equal to r um, for a binomial distri distribution where um, n is n and probability of success is, success is p is always going to be n c r times p to the power r times 1 minus p, which are sometimes called q, to the power n minus r. Okay, so what that means in this case is basically n is 6 and r is 0. So it's 6c0 times success, well that's 0 0.4 to the power 0, times failure, well that's 0 0.6, that's getting a woman, to the power 6. Well that's, if you look up 6c0, that's actually 1. This is also 1. So actually it's just 0 0.6 to the power 6. And if you work out 0 0.6 to the power 6, you get 0 0.046656, which is 0 0.0467 to four decimal places. Okay. Now, there are only actually six um, possibilities in this case. You could also use Pascal's triangle, which you remember goes like, oh, hang on, 1, 2, 1, and then 1, 3, 3, 1, and then you've got 1, 4, 6, 4, 1, 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1, and the layer that you're interested in is the one that goes 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, 1. So this is the one that we're interested in. Okay, right, second part then says, what's the probability that 3 are male and 3 are female? Well, that's just the probability that 3 are male. So we want the probability that x is equal to 3. Now, you can either use 6c3, or you could use Pascal's triangle, and it goes 0, 1, 2, 3. Either way, it comes out as 20. And then that's times success. Well, that's getting a male to the power 3 times failure. And that's choosing a woman to the power 3. And if you multiply that all together, we get 0 0.27648 which to four decimal places is 0 0.2765. Okay, next bit says, what's the probability that there are more females than males? Now, that's going to mean the probability that the number of females, it's going to be either um, having six females or five females or four females. Okay, that would be if you've got more, if you've got six females, you've got no males. If you've got five females, you've got one male. If you've got four females, you've got two males. And after that, you've got equal numbers. So we want the probability that the number of males is either zero or one or two. Now, that's the same as the probability that x is equal to zero plus the probability that x is equal to one plus the probability that x is equal to two. Now, we've already worked out up here the probability that x is zero, so there are no males which is the 0 0.046656. For the probability that x is 1, well, that's just going to be, you can either use 6c1, or you can use this second number in Pascal's triangle, which is just going to be 6, okay, um, times uh, male to the power 1, times female to the power 
5. Remember, these always have to add up to 6. Um, and that's going to be plus 6C2. Well, that's the next number in Pascal's triangle again, so that's 15. And that's 15 times 0 0.4 squared. That's your two males times 0 0.6 to the power of 4. Now, if you work out these numbers, this one comes out as 0 0.186. I'm going to save that in my memory, in my calculator. This one comes out as 0 0.311. So actually, I saved that in my memory as B. I saved that in my memory as C. And I'd already saved that in my memory as A. And if I add those all together, don't write A plus B plus C, it comes out as 0 0.54432, which is 0 0.5443 to four decimal places.